So in this problem we're told a light plane must reach a speed of 32 meters per second for takeoff. How long a runway is needed if the constant acceleration is 3 meters per second squared? So let's just look at the problem and see what we're given. So we're told a plane must reach a speed of 32 meters per second. So if we imagine like a plane here and it's going to be traveling and then for it to take off it has to reach 32 meters per second. So that means we know our final velocity is going to be 32 meters per second. So we're given final velocity. What else are we given? So we know the plane has to reach 32 meters per second to take off. But when the plane starts, we know its velocity is zero because when something's not moving, its velocity is zero. So we know that its initial velocity, v sub zero, is going to be zero meters per second squared, or just meters per second. And then we also know acceleration is three meters per second squared. And then, so we're given these, and then it's asking us for how long our runway is needed. So it's asking how long something is. So we're going to be uh, measuring something in distance. And so everything is in meters, so we're going to do it in meters. So what we're trying to find is delta x, which is just the change in position. So we don't know what that is, so we're trying to find it. And so we're going to use these kinematic equations to solve for it. So what we're going to want to do is plug in these values into one of these equations, and we'll find delta x. So let's decide which equation to use. So if we look at all of these, the first three, we see that all of these require time to solve. And so we're not given time, so we're not going to use any of the ones that require time. So the only one that we can use is this one. And we can see that all of our variables line up. We have all the variables to solve for delta x. So let's go ahead and do it. So v squared, we know v is 32. So it's going to be 32 squared equals uh, v sub 0 which is 0 squared, and 0 squared is just 0, plus 2 times a, which is 3, uh, three times delta x. And so I'm just going to multiply this. It's going to become 6 times delta x, and then I'm just going to get rid of the 0. So 6 times delta x. And then so we can just divide both sides to solve for delta x. Delta x equals 32 squared over 6. And then if you plug this in your calculator or solve, you're going to get it equals 170.66. And then we can round to uh, this place right here. So we can round to 171. And then so delta x is going to be equal to 171. And then we're changing position, and position is in meters. So it's going to be. 171 meters.